This video will show you the basic setup of the save system for OPSIV controllers using UFPS. The same process applies to all other OPSIV controller packages such as third person and ultimate character controller. We're starting with a project in which I've imported UFPS and the save system. You can find complete detailed instructions on using the save system in the PDF manual located in the save system folder. UFPS has a demo scene. This is the demo scene. We'll set up the save system in a copy of this scene. Instead of using the demo script, we'll place an instance of the player directly in the scene. This will make the video simpler to see what components we're adding. So we'll turn off the demo script and UIs. Next, assign the player instance to the camera controller. So far, this is all regular UFPS stuff, nothing to do with the save system. Let's give it a play. Now we'll add the save system. Add the save system prefab to the scene. This is a persistent singleton, meaning it survives scene changes and ensures only one instance exists. So you can add an instance to every scene if you want. There are options such as scene transitions that you can learn about in the manual. To quickly test saving and loading, we'll also add the save system test menu prefab. This is a useful way to verify that the save system is set up correctly, but you'll eventually want to replace it with your own menu system instead. The prefabs folder has other useful prefabs such as a checkpoint save trigger and a scene portal trigger for changing scenes using the save system. You can find more info about these components in the save system folders PDF manual. Finally, on the player, we simply add a UCC saver component and set a unique key value. Use this same key value on the player's UCC saver components across all scenes. And let's give this a play. We'll move here, take some shots, and save the game. Then we'll play some more and finally load the saved game. You can see that we're back to the saved position with the saved weapon info. And that's it. Using the save system is as simple as that. The save system provides other saver components for saving things like object active inactive states, animator states, and the like, and you can also write your own custom saver scripts, all of which is covered in the PDF manual. Thanks for watching.